Hello, this is Kirill from forexboat.com and welcome to the third tutorial in our course on testing and optimization in MetaTrader 4. In the previous tutorial, we learned how to navigate the strategy tester window and today we're going to be talking about backtesting. So what is a backtest and what is the process of backtesting? Investopedia defines backtesting as the process of testing a trading strategy on prior time periods. Instead of applying a strategy for the time period forward, which could take years, a trader can do a simulation of his or her trading strategy on relevant past data in order to gauge its effectiveness. So what does that mean in reality? Let's draw a timeline and uh, let's put a cross on the timeline to represent today. Anything to the left of the, of the cross is uh, the past and uh, the dashed line to the right is the future. For us to evaluate effectiveness of a trading strategy, we would have to launch it today and then wait a sufficient number of time for the strategy to accumulate a certain number of trades that would allow us to say whether the strategy is effective or not. Uh, depending on the strategy, it could take from several weeks to several months or uh, possibly even a year. Therefore, we can use backtesting to significantly limit the amount of time that we require to evaluate effectiveness of our strategy. Backtesting involves selecting two points in the past, point A and point B, and then using the data between these two points to run a simulated test of our trading strategy. And based on that test, we can evaluate whether our trading strategy would have been effective if it were launched in the past. And based on that evaluation, we can decide for ourselves whether we want to launch it today or not. And that way we uh, really uh, can speed up the process of evaluation of trading strategies and save ourselves a lot of time. There are a few special cases of backtests. For example, you could select only one point in the past and then run the backtest all the way up to today. Or you could select the point in the past as the very uh, first point from which you have data. And that way you'll have a full backtest which uh, includes the whole of the data set uh, that's available to you. And uh, choosing these points, the starting point and the ending point, really depends on the trading strategy. Uh, for example, for trading strategies working on higher time frames, you might want to use um, several months or years of data. And for trading strategies working on lower time frames, such as uh, the five minutes or 15 minutes time frame, maybe a month or even several weeks of data would be sufficient for a backtest. So let's go to uh, MetaTrader 4 now and um, just run our very first backtest. Uh, here you can select any of the two expert advisors available to you. Uh, select any uh, chart, any period. Um, I recommend selecting control points at this stage just to speed things up. Um, you can ch choose the dates here. These are the two points in time. I'm not going to choose any dates and that way the test will run on the full uh, data set that's available to me. Uh, we'll click visual mode so we can see um, how our test is progressing and then we'll just click start over here. Um, as you can see, a new chart has appeared and um, a simulation has begun. So MetaTrader 4 uh, takes on that responsibility of uh, running the simulation for you. And this, as you can see, uh, the date here is 30th of April, 2014. And uh, today is, it is already August, 2014, but MetaTrader 4 is behaving as if this is happening in real time. And as you can see, um, that allows you to control the speed here. You can like set the speed to slow and therefore um, everything is happening much slower or you can sp set the speed to much faster and um, uh, therefore you're condensing this uh, time that actually happened within days. So every bar here you see is actually a an hour. There you go. We, we have our first trade that was opened and that was a buy order which, uh, which uh, created a loss. Um, so as I was saying, every bar here is a hour, but it's happening in a matter of less than a second. And that, that's how you can actually save time on backtests. Um, now you can see what's, what's happening and this might be a profitable buy order here that's um, about to be closed, hopefully. Yep, there we go. That was a profitable buy order. Um, if you go to the graph, the graph shows you um, how 
uh, your balance is changing with time. So this is not actually, sorry, not with time, with every trade. So we started with $10,000 and you can see here um, how your balance is going up and down. Um, journal shows you some journals on uh, what the uh, expert advisor is doing. Results actually lists every single trade. It's been opened, it's closed, open, uh, closed and so on. And you can see the profit that every trade is bringing you. The report's not ready. The report will be ready at the end. And at the bottom here, the green lines is the volume. So as soon as um, there are two, at least two trades with different volumes, this line will appear and will show you. So this was 0.1 lots and the, all the previous ones were 0.2 lots. And that is um, uh, built into the train strategy. So we'll just speed this up to the maximum. And as you can see, it's finished. The test finishes very quickly when you speed it up to the maximum. Um, and there you go. So that was your first back test. Uh, obviously, because it's a pre-packaged expert advisor and it has been optimized, it, it uh, created a loss on the account. But um, that is something that we'll uh, discuss in other tutorials. Um, and uh, we'll look at profitable uh, expert advisors through this course going forward. So that that's that. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, possibly learned something new. I would like to invite you to visit my website at www.forexboat.com where you can find this and many more other uh, free tutorials. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, happy trading.